Left to right is Joy Dottie Brothella at Lafferty Lake in 1943. Looking north from Lafferty Lake on Harris's property. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Dottie's graduation from Elkhart High School in 1945. Things June 1945. Miss Brothella Whitmire married Maurice Stevens at 3.30 today in the Zion Mennonite Brethren of Christ Church at the Four Arts Club building. The bride wore a white gown of net over satin and a white net fingertip veil held by a coronet of seed pearls. She carried a white Bible covered with white carnations. June 17, 1945, wedding of Brethella Whitmire and Maurice Stevens. Left to right, Dottie, Mickey, Brethella, and Joy. Left to right are bridesmaids, Dorothy and Aletha Joy, bride, Brethella Mae Stevens, and groom, Maurice Stevens. Robert Stevens is the nephew of the bridegroom, with Albert Stevens, the brother of Maurice. Larry Bliley, at 17 years old. Woman needs man, and man must have his mate. That no one can deny. This is where Grant Whitmire both lived and worked. A wedding invitation of Grant's nephew Robert and Marge Haggerty. Effie Whitmire reported in 1946 that she had square morning glory flowers. In this photo, taken at the Bliley Farm in 1946, and in the next photo, show five generations. Pictured are year-old Michael Stevens with his mother, Brethella Whitmire Stevens, with her mother, Effie Bliley Whitmire, and her mother, Ella Sigafoos Bliley, and her mother, Sarah Jane Lake Sigafoos. Edith Whitmire, stepmother of Grant Whitmire and step-grandmother to the children of Grant and Effie Whitmire. She was married to Frank Whitmire. As time goes. The graduation picture of Carolyn Atkins. She is the youngest daughter of Elmas and Ruth Bliley Atkins. Charlene David Heiser. These were neighbors on 2nd Street that Effie and Dottie babysat for. Sarah Jane Lake Sigurfus. Of twilight time. Here is Grant Whitmire in Los Angeles in 1947. Making Brothella Stevens on his father August's homestead in front of the log cabin purportedly to be the oldest in Indiana. Effie Whitmire liked covered ridge pictures like this and poems, cute sayings, and cardinals. On the Bliley Farm in Cassopolis, Michigan. Leaving me a song. Left to right is Carolyn, Joy, and Dottie. Here's William Sigurfus, the sixth child of Creighton and Sarah Jane Lake, with his aunt Rosetta Lake Slipper. The music of the years gone by. Graduation picture of Dorothy Jean Whitmire in 1945. This is Joy Whitmire in her engagement picture taken in September of 1947. Mrs. Effie Whitmire announces the engagement and approaching marriage of her daughter, Aletha Joy, to Henry Holloway, Jr. Joy and Henry Holloway were married in September of 1947 at the Four Arts Club in Elkhart. They resided on Auten Road in South Bend. Left to right is Dolly, Henry's sister, Brothella, Dottie, Joy, and Hank. Effie Whitmire, standing in front of Henry Holloway's car. Jim Hosterman, son of John and Florence Hosterman. Dottie Whitmire, taken in the backyard of her home on Sycamore Street in the spring of 1948. Jim Hosterman at the Bliley Farm in 1947. When stars are bright and pictured here with his Ritzy. You are in my arms. The night and game. Jim Hostman at the Bliley Farm with William Bliley's and Gore Rabbits. And Dottie with the Rabbits. Though I dream in vain. 
in my heart it will remain left to right is robert hilbert joy whitmire dotty and mickey stevens jim hosterman and dotty whitmire snowing around the blally farm dotty whitmire at lafferty lake in the background an indian princess lying down is formed by the treetops Rosetta Slipper is shown in the very front of this picture taken with her family in 1947. A Sigurfus reunion at the Log Cabin in Cassopolis, Michigan. Left to right, Jim Hosterman, Russell Bliley, Harry Maxwell, and Mickey Stevens with Karen Kaiser in 1947. Effie Bliley Whitmire. This picture and the next were taken at Tower Hill in a state park in Indiana. It was Dottie's 22nd birthday. Taken in 1948, the three sisters were all in their 20s. Effie was 53. Jim Hostman took this four second time exposure in 1947. A picture of him in his army uniform is at the left. William Bliley. Ella Sigurfus Bliley. Mrs. Sarah Jane Lake Sigurfus observed her 100th birthday anniversary at the home of her daughter, Mrs. William Bliley of Cassopolis. Mrs. Sarah Jane Sigurfus, who observed her 100th birthday December 11th at the home of a daughter, Mrs. William Bliley, died at her daughter's home. She was married in 1871 to Creighton Sigurfus. He was the son of Abraham Sigurfus, pioneer Cass County settler. Carolyn Atkins' graduation. She was the youngest daughter of Ruth Bliley and Elmas Atkins, sister to Beatrice. Miss Dorothy Whitmire and Mr. James Hosterman were married Thursday afternoon in Bethel Evangelical United Brethren Church. The bride, who was given in marriage by her uncle Russell Bliley, wore a white satin gown styled with a round yoke of alternating bands of net and satin. She carried a white Bible covered with pom-poms tied with satin streamers. Larry Bliley, age 20, 1948. Dorothy and Jim's marriage on Thanksgiving Day, 1948. Left to right, Marge Hostman Christ, Joy Whitmire Holloway, Berthella Whitmire Stevens, Al Schneider, Mickey Stevens, Ray Christ. Best man beside Jim is Richard Laughlin. Ring bearer is Michael Stevens, son of Berthella and Mickey. Left to right is Effie Bailey Whitmire and Dorothy Whitmire Hosterman. Jim Hosterman and his mother, Florence Hosterman. William and Ella Sigurfus, taken at the wedding of Dorothy and Jim. This picture was used for their 55th wedding anniversary. Dorothy Whitmire Hosterman's wedding picture. This bill for $150 was for surgery and aftercare for gallstones for Mrs. William Bliley in 1949. This is where Jim and Dorothy spent their honeymoon in Miami Beach. This picture and the next were taken in 1948 of Effie Bliley Whitmire working at the Hartford, Michigan bait farm for her brother Lloyd Bliley. This is the back of the house where Effie lived and worked at the Hartford Bait Farm for her brother Lloyd. Here's Dorothy with a possum on top of her head behind the bait farm. This snow tower was built by the Hostmans and Stevens in the winter of 1949 to 1950. It was built in the backyard of where Effie lived and worked at the bait farm. Members of the St. Joe County Women's Choir rehearse as they prepare for a visit to Washington, D.C. In the center is Joy Holloway holding her son, David. Edith Drake Whitmire appears on the left with her sister-in-law, Mary Whitmire, in this photo taken in 1950. 
with fellow Whitmire Stevens in this photo taken in 1949 at age 29. Left to right is Marie Stevens, Pat, Mike, and Brethella Whitmire Stevens. Brethella Whitmire Stevens with husband Mick and children left to right Janet, Pat, and Mike in this photo taken in 1951. Joy and Hank Holloway at a wedding for Joy's girlfriend. Hank was a jeweler. Joy Whitmire Holloway with husband Henry or Hank and their son David in this photo taken in 1951. Left to right is Dottie, Joy, and Hank at the Hostman House on Jackson Street on the St. Joe River. Christina Ann Carlson, daughter of Phil and Elizabeth Sigerfus Carlson. I, William Bliley, say that I am the father of Effie Whitmire. Further, that she was born September 27, 1894 in Elkhart, Indiana. William Bliley, Effie's father. You better be true to me. You better be true to me. You better be true to me. Effie Whitmire. You get in the third degree when you come marching home. You're on your own where there is no phone and I can't keep... Effie at age 57 in 1951. Deborah Jean Hostman, born in 1951 to James and Dorothy Whitmire Hostman. Debbie, Dorothy, and Jim Hostman in the spring of 1952. Mike and Pat Stevens appear in the rear of this picture. And in the front row, left to right, is Janet Stevens, Debbie Hostman, and Christina Carlson. Barbara and Jimmy Fawcett, children of Enid and Dick. This is Effie's first built house in Elkhart, located on Laramie Street. Dottie appears on the left, and Effie is in the doorway. Dog socks with his owner, Dorothy Hostman, in this photo in 1952. Robert Whitmire and family. Robert's the grandson of Frank Whitmire and nephew to Grant. Received to Mr. Bliley $20 for one month's room rent, March 1953. Alice and Roger Smith with daughter Shelley, 1953. Jim Hostman at the rear of the house on Emerald Street in 1953. William Bliley with his daughter Effie in 1953. In this photo and the next is Effie Bliley Whitmire practicing her gymnastics on her birthday in September 1953. On the left is Tom Stevens with his sister Janet at the Hosterman House. Barbara Holloway's birthday with David and their mother, Joy. Effie with Barbara and David at Dottie's house. Effie's second house on Laramie Street, under construction. Michael Stevens, son of Mick and Brethella Whitmire Stevens. Brother Patrick Stevens. Edward Bliley, graduating senior of Bristol High School. Edward Bliley was the firstborn to Robert and Gladys Osborne Bliley. Mr. and Mrs. Clarence Patterson request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Lois Lorraine, to Mr. Larry Bliley, 1953. Lois and Larry Bliley on their wedding day. Four generations appear in this photo taken in 1953. In the back is Brethella and Effie Whitmire. In the front is Sarah Jane Lake Sigerfoos with her daughter Ella Mae Sigerfoos Bliley. A family gathering at the Maurice Stevens Farm in 1953. Donna Hostman's birth announcement, 1954. 
Here's the chemical composition of the New Life water that Effie Whitmire stayed healthy on and other people got well. Joy Holloway suffered a shoulder injury in this accident, 1954. Barbara and David Holloway, children of Joy and Hank Holloway, with their grandmother Effie. Effie Whitmire, on her 60th birthday in 1954, quote, in her right mind and on her right side up. Left to right is Mike Stevens with brother Tom, David Holloway, and Pat Stevens. Left to right is Janet Stevens with Whenever Debbie and Donna Hostman and Barbara Holloway, 1956. David Holloway. Please think of me. David My and Barbara Holloway with Mother Joy, 1956. Effie Whitmire inside the circle, attending a concert by the Elkhart Symphonic Orchestra. Barbara and David Holloway, 1956. Can make me happy. Can make me happy. As you, my love. William Bliley, indicated by the arrow, at the Chain of Lakes Baptist Church in Michigan. For someone to love you. For someone to love you. 1955. The appointment of James Hosterman as advertising assistant is announced by E. L. Miles, Vice President in Charge of Advertising. Effie in August of 1955. Effie on her 61st birthday. Maud and Billy Eckert with William, David, and Kay. Effie Whitmire's new house at 1300 Laramie, a larger, nicer house at 1415 Laramie, was built later. This shows Effie with her daughter Dottie. Left to right is Janice Stevens, Debbie and Donna Hosterman, and Barbara Holloway. To my family, when I have passed away, I want a graveside funeral. I want no vault and no flowers. I want William and Tommy Conley to have charge at Cassopolis. They were the best friends that I had in the last three years. William Bliley. Pictured here in Effie's new quote at last a place. Left to right, back to front is Jim, Donna, Dottie, Effie, and Bethella. David, Tom Stevens, Barbara Holloway, Janet Stevens. Effie's home at 1415 Laramie Street in 1956. Effie is pictured in the doorway. This shows Effie's house looking west. Now the location of McDonald's parking lot. Bethella Whitmire Stevens simply resting in a wheelchair at a train fair in Chicago. 1959. Here's Grant Whitmire holding Becky Powers. Steve and Debbie Bliley, children of Larry and Lois Bliley, 1959. Taken in Angola, Indiana at a friend's house in 1961. These next several pictures show Grant Whitmire during various years. This is Grant during one of his trips, probably to California. Sweet dreams of Grant Whitmire, working at the construction site of the Jehovah's Witnesses West Kingdom Hall in Elkhart in 1967. William Bliley, a retired carpenter and farmer, died Thursday in the home of his daughter, Mrs. Effie Whitmire, 1956. Instead of having sweet dreams, 
Grant Whitmire in the 1950s. Effie Whitmire's favorite birds, cardinals. I should hate you the whole night through. Instead of the next few pictures show Effie continuing to do her gymnastics, taken in 1958. John Porball, a cousin to the Whitmire sisters. I know can't come true. The fellow Whitmire and Wari Jones at the Elkhart YMCA. Aletha Joy Whitmire Holloway with children David and Barbara in April of 1960. Grant Whitmire in a friend's home in Angola, taken in 1961. Barbara Holloway, age nine. Pictured here are grandchildren of Grace Bliley Evans. Sister and brother, Cynthia Ann Sigafoos Kaiser and Will Sigafoos. She's 84 and he's 80 in this picture taken in 1962. Janet Stevens, oldest granddaughter of Effie Bliley Whitmire, celebrates her 13th birthday on Friday the 13th, 1963. Mrs. Effie Whitmire reports a second crop of blackberries have sprouted on the bushes next to her home, September 1962. Mrs. Marie Stevens of Bremen is in Bremen Community Hospital for tests and observations. She's the daughter of Effie Whitmire. Michael J. and Patrick L. Stevens are enrolled this year at Purdue University. Michael's a sophomore majoring in agriculture and Patrick a freshman in aeronautical engineering. 1965. The Ray H. Dokes, friends and employer of Effie Whitmire and close friends to Florence Hosterman. Left to right is Brian, Terry, and Marge Whitmire with April in the front. Roger Smith said he was almost struck head-on Tuesday afternoon when an oncoming woman motorist lost control after going onto the berm and trying to get back onto the highway. Effie Whitmire indicated by the circle attending an Elkhart Planning Commission meeting. Grant Whitmire, age 72, with Pearl Paris in front of her home in Pauley, Ohio. Pearl knew Grant when he was a child. 1965. Grant Whitmire in a Pauline, Ohio cemetery trying to upright the headstone of his mother, Bertha Reed. Grant with his cousin, Enid Wiseman. 1965. Effie Whitmire suffered minor injuries when she fell Tuesday. City Aidman administered first aid and she was taken to the doctor's office in a police car. 1966. Effie at the home of Isel Sigurfus, 1969. Elkhart police are investigating the rape of a 72-year-old Elkhart woman who was attacked by a 20-year-old youth as she was walking. The attacker grabbed her throat to stop her screaming, she said. 1967. Tom Stevens at age 13 in the 8th grade, 1966. Here and in the next two pictures is Sarah Townsend, granddaughter of Betty Eckert and daughter of Grace Bliley. She was named after Sarah Jane Lake Sigafoos. Steve Bliley. Dorothy and Dawn Hosterman. 1967. The children of Mr. and Mrs. Robert Whitmire. Kathy and Patrick Stevens. 
in their wedding photo in 1968. Mr. and Mrs. Carl Gant request the honor of your presence at the marriage of the daughter Suzanne to Michael James Stevens. Debbie Hosterman in 1968. Barbara Holloway, daughter of Joy Whitmire Holloway, 1968 or 69. Lord, keep me sweet when I...